Hey, good evening and good afternoon, and I hope you're well. It's Rob here, and welcome to episode number 90 of Tetraki TV. Uh, I've been flying for the past, travelling for the past 36, 40 hours or so, and I'm here in the headquarters of Seattle Adventure Sports, one of the other businesses that I own shares of in Seattle. And I wanted to ask you today is, is your business really a big enough adventure for you? Uh, do you... Are you really having an experience like this one from the Patagonia poster behind me? Um, or... or is your business mundane? Is it feeling like the same? Do you go to work at the same time every day, finish at the same time, hang out with the same people, treat your workforce the same way, treat your customers the same way? Um, so is your business comfortable like that because everything is the same? Or are you really having an adventure? You see this person going to the mountain behind me. The Patagonia picture, sorry there. Uh, they could have a change in weather, change in rock sorts. They could have a more challenged part of the mountain to climb. And that level of change and that level of adventure means that you have to stay on your toes much, much more. You have to be much more present and much more active in driving your business. And so for, for me, I'm a big fan of turning my, my businesses into adventures, mixing it up the entire time. Now, that's not um, changing the stuff that isn't broken or trying to fix stuff that isn't broken. It's about a continual process of, of trying new things to see what works, what gets higher levels of performance and, um, and what doesn't. And then whatever produces higher levels of performance, take it and repeat it. And whatever doesn't, put to one side as a good test. Um, and so how often are you having an adventure in your business like that? Stretching yourself out of your comfort zone into that adventure zone. Um, trying new things. And um, if you're there going, yeah, I try new things the entire time. Here's my thought. Is it daily? Is it conscious and is it daily? And if it's conscious and daily, and daily, probably you're doing it enough, you're doing it big enough, you're doing it great enough, and often you're doing it fast enough, especially if you're learning from it and keeping those adventurous changes that you make and putting them into practice forever if they increase performance and get, and losing the things that, that don't work. If, if this isn't conscious and isn't daily, it needs to be for you to step out of this comfort zone that you're in, this funk. And so many people are in this funk of doing the same thing in the same way every day and never getting to let their business be as beautiful as this Patagonia picture behind me of somebody climbing. So there's my challenge for you, is how adventurous can you get in your business? How adventurous are you going to be? And how are you going to make every day even more adventurous than the previous? So that's it from me. I hope you have a great 24 hours further. You'll see Mark tomorrow um, on Friday, and I'll be back with you next week again from Seattle. Stay well. I look forward to seeing you very soon.